This year has presented its fair share of difficulties, as evidenced by the occurrences in Mecca. A devastating tempest struck Mecca, delivering a lightning strike to the iconic clock tower and subjecting worshippers to forceful gales. In light of these events, numerous questions have arisen. Does Mecca stand beneath the gaze of divine scrutiny? It's intriguing to observe that despite these incidents, many Muslims view them as miracles. In the wake of the Mecca storm, the landscape revealed an unexpected beauty. I'm here to share these breathtaking vistas with you. The storm in Mecca and the views, so beautiful. I'm just here to share the beautiful views with you. <laughs> The sound of Quran underneath the rain is so touching. But watch the thunder. Like watch the thunder. You see this? This is coming. Like this is this is touching the, the clock tower in Mecca. But this is this is from far away from Al Haram. This is far. It's also still far. I'm gonna show you a closer. This is a closer look. It's closer to Al Haram. This is the, the clock tower. It looks like a movie. Wallah, it looks like a movie. It's so beautiful. Watch this. Yeah? Now watch a closer one. Whoa, it got red, like it got red, watch, so beautiful, yeah, another one, I think I have another one, no, this is the rain, this is the mountain of Arafa, this is the road going to the mountain, and it's full of rain, but this is a funny clip, a Saudi guy just swimming <laughs> in the water, <laughs> the guy is looking to him like, what are you doing, what are you doing, man? <laughs> But also, it was unfortunate for some people, for a lot of people. This guy lost his car in the rain. For Muslims, these events signify not divine judgment, but rather signs of God's benevolent protection and mercy. They believe that God is conveying a message, a reassurance that He vigilantly watches over the cherished city of Mecca. How can such calamities be considered beautiful? How can disasters endangering lives and property be seen in this light? Where do individuals encounter challenges in their worship? Is this truly a site of splendor? Or does it serve as a divine caution for people to turn away from their wicked deeds? This occurrence has generated divisions within Muslim communities with varying opinions. Is it a blessing or a manifestation of God's judgment? One user offered a comment citing a passage from the Quran. The thunder glorifies his praises, as do the angels in awe of him. This comment supports the notion that the storm and destruction are indeed a manifestation of God's magnificence. Nevertheless, many other Muslims hold a different perspective, beseeching God for forgiveness. In response, another user questioned the beauty in this situation. They emphasized that Allah's intent is to caution against wickedness and sins, considering it a sign to pray and seek Allah's forgiveness. Yet, another comment implored Allah not to unleash anger and punishment upon them. A comprehensive observation of the unfolding events in Mecca leads to the conclusion that God is issuing a warning to the people. This is not a sight of beauty or a blessing in any form. God has been attempting to capture the people's attention to guide them back onto the path of righteousness. However, the people have opted to disregard these admonitions, potentially resulting in dire consequences and further suffering. This narrative evokes parallels with the story of Noah, an ordinary man in a world much like ours replete with noise, distractions, and skepticism. People ridiculed him for constructing an ark, questioning the need to prepare for something that might never transpire. Yet Noah harbored an unshakable conviction he couldn't ignore, diligently crafting the ark plank by plank, day by day. Now let's advance to the present day. Our world grapples with the looming threat of climate change, unrest in our streets, and a pandemic that has reshaped our way of life. Wars and potential conflicts persist, mirroring biblical prophecies. Through the gospel, God is beckoning humanity to return to repentance. In many ways, we resemble the neighbors of Noah, don't we? We receive warnings but often find ourselves too preoccupied or doubtful to take action. So, what insights can we draw from Noah's story? Preparedness is of paramount importance. Noah couldn't pinpoint the exact moment of the flood, but he stood ready when it arrived. Moreover, there is profound value in heeding that inner intuition. It's possible that God is communicating with you directly within your heart. Similar to Noah, we possess the opportunity to prepare, transform, and make decisions that will not only impact us, but also shape the destiny of generations to come. Therefore, regardless of your belief in Noah's narrative, 
Contemplate this. What kind of shelter are you constructing for yourself and your community? What measures are you implementing to brace for the uncertain? And most crucially, are you attentive? God communicates with humanity through the natural world, and it's imperative that we regard this warning with utmost seriousness. The situation is bound to deteriorate, and how will you demonstrate that this moment is a blessing rather than a divine admonition? Thank you for joining me today. May you discover your refuge, your purpose, and your path, just as Noah did in days of old. My prayer is that God's compassion guides you to the truth. If you appreciate the content, please consider subscribing and sharing these videos.